Hello dear students, uh, it is me again and uh, the purpose of this video is uh, to argue that there are different projects and uh, different kinds of projects need different management approaches. I'm going to deliver this argument uh, by uh, showing you the goals and methods matrix which is uh, uh, presented in, for example, Turner's uh, Handbook of Project-Based Management, Turner 1999. Uh, you have the opportunity to read the few pages there in the handbook and uh, find more about uh, the idea of this matrix. But I kind of give you the first aid uh, of getting into that by telling uh, rather superficially and briefly the idea of the matrix. Well, um, Turner uh, assumes that there are four different types of projects and these project uh, types can be uh, uh, determined by how well the methods are defined, yes or no, and how well the project's goals are defined, yes or no. In engineering projects, that is building construction or bridge construction, typically projects uh, where we have a long tradition of how they are done. Uh, so the goals are rather well defined and also the methods are rather well defined. In uh, product development, we normally know the goals of getting certain kind of a pro uh, product with certain features into the market. But however, the methods are not that well defined. So there might be some iteration, some kind of a seeking, some kind of a finding the way uh, to the actual goal. In uh, type 3 projects, which are systems development projects, uh, uh, the project's goals are not very well defined, uh, but the methods are rather uh, kind of a even standard or, or, or um, systematic. Uh, and in systems development, uh, Rodney Turner uh, uh, means uh, IT projects. So for example, uh, the customer doesn't necessarily even know what the actual features are, so that's why the goals are not uh, so well defined. But uh, if you take, for example, a software company or a software specialist to do that project, they have a very solid uh, methods, for example, face-based methods of how to get uh, to the actual goal, whatever that goal would be. So, um, in type 4 projects, there are kind of even two types uh, within this uh, type four. That is research projects and organizational development projects. Well, if you do research, if you, for example, try to find new medicine for a cancer, or if you uh, want to make an organizational chain, actually the project goals are not very well defined. You must kind of find even the goals uh, on the path of uh, doing the project uh, and nor the methods of how to do that uh, is, are uh, very clearly defined. So um, that was almost all what I uh, wanted to say to you. But the last thing, the last message from me is that uh, think critically about this uh, goals and methods matrix. Think about whether it makes sense, whether there are are other kinds of projects that are not included in this matrix and also uh, what might be uh, the assumptions uh, made by Rodney Turner when he presented this uh, matrix and uh, his argument that these projects fall into these four uh, fields. So uh, let's continue uh, discussion about this matrix in the class. Please read uh, Turner's 1999 handbook uh, of project management, few pages that are dealing with this uh, goals and methods matrix. And uh, let's come back soon. Thank you very much. 
uh, see you. Bye.